let's talk about grid, grid options and how to set up your units and measurements so you can work more efficiently. So when you enter Maya, you will usually have this, well not usually, but always have this default uh, grid setup for you. But if you want to edit it to suit you a bit better, uh, you can do so by having this, um, by clicking on this icon here that when you hover it, it says grid. Uh, you can turn the grid on and off by pressing on it, but you can also right click on it and click on grid options to get a more uh, detailed control over how the disk how the grid is going to be divided and set up and other stuff like that. So these are the basic options and you can usually, um, you can always reset it to default by going to edit and reset settings and pressing apply and you get the Maya's default uh, grid. But let's say uh, we put, let's put everything to one, see how it looks. So we only have, we now have, um, one on each side of the of the center of the axis. So this is one unit. And which unit that is, is specified by you in, uh, when you go to Windows, Settings slash Preferences, and then go to References. Here you can go to Settings, and in Settings you set what, uh, what are your working units? So if you set centimeters here, one square on this grid will be one centimeter. So here we have two centimeters by two centimeters. If we uh, put two length and width units, we're going to get two on each side. So four here and four here. Six by six ATC. Now, default sets the grid lines to display every five units and sub subdivision is set to five. If we set subdivision to one, you will, get, you will see this weird thing that you probably don't want to use. So I would advise you to set grid lines every one unit and basically you get the same thing as uh, before, but less confusing. So now if you press two, press apply, you get uh, all units divided into uh, because that's probably something you would want at some point. Let's, start, let's uh, set it back to one. And these uh, options here are pretty useful because you can say, uh, let's, let's take this perspective grid numbers along edge and press apply. You know, see that you have units every, uh, actually the numbers on each line. Uh, when you set Maya's default settings to, you know, what we already had, grid lines every five units, subdivisions to five, uh, we may we may get different uh, results when we uh, select this option along edge in perspective grid numbers. If that's something you want, just so you know. But we can uh, let's return it back to and. Uh, this, is, this only works for perspective grid numbers, but if you go to orthographic mode by pressing space and toggling between any other uh, orthographic view, you can do it. You can do it for the orthographic grid numbers as well, and then you get it displayed uh, the way you want it. You can also go on axis instead of along edge, and then you will get it in the center, which is a uh, rarely useful. Uh, generally, you probably won't use it, so you can just set it to hide. So another useful thing is uh, you can disable thicker lines for axes if they are confusing you for some reason. Also, the subdivision lines, in case you have two instead of one. And you can disable the axis lines completely. So yeah, that's all about grid uh, options. That's something you will probably need to use at some point. So that's it.